Tech Silver here. Today we will answer the question, why is palladium so expensive and why is platinum so cheap? Everyone knows platinum is the king of metals. You want a platinum credit card, you want your album to go platinum. Gold, on the other hand, the only metal that is yellow or golden, is a sign of wealth throughout recorded history, treasured for its natural beauty and radiance. At its peak, platinum was more than twice the price of gold. Yet today, it's not gold that has dethroned platinum, it's palladium. So, what is palladium? It's a lustrous white metal, one of the six platinum group metals. About 85% of palladium ends up in catalytic converters in cars, where it helps convert as much as 90% of the hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide and nitrogen dioxide into less harmful substances and water vapour. It is also used in electronics, dentistry and jewellery. So why is palladium the most valuable of the four major precious metals today? Well, because the US, Canada and Zimbabwe produce small quantities of palladium, the market being dominated by two players, Russia and South Africa. Prices in March spiralled out of control when Russia's trade industry ministry was considering a temporary ban on the export of palladium. Also, supply for about a decade or so hasn't responded to growing demand from manufacturers. Also China and other developing countries are enforcing stricter emission limits so car manufacturers will have to increase the amount of palladium they use in the catalytic converters. Platinum is also part of the platinum group metals. Platinum is the most ductile metal and has excellent resistance to corrosion. The supply of platinum is highly concentrated with South Africa responsible for over 60% of global production. Platinum has become the premier choice for jewellery as it doesn't corrode, discolour, fade or lose shape with time and is one of the hardest metals. It's used in manufacturing and electronics with half the production being used in catalytic converters. Platinum's arch nemesis is no longer gold but its cousin palladium. The story behind palladium prices rocketing and platinum's prices tanking is the story of the collapse of diesel cars. The public, especially in Europe, were told by governments and car manufacturers that diesel cars were greener than petrol cars. Now, Diesel cars are seen as public enemy number one. Many cities either in the process of banning them outright or imposing congestion charges such as Bristol or London in England. Platinum is used in diesel car catalytic converters while palladium is used in petrol cars. So as diesel loses out to petrol, platinum has lost out to palladium. So should I invest in platinum? I would say yes, it's cheaper than both palladium and gold at the moment. Ironically, Platinum is seen as poor man's gold today. What a topsy-turvy world we live in. Let's look at the spot price of the four precious metals and how much an ounce bar costs today. So, you can see that palladium is at the top spot with gold closely behind and platinum way behind. Looking at the 10 year charts, palladium and platinum have an inverse relationship. I have also included gold for reference. So, will platinum recover? As the price of palladium goes up, it will become more profitable to substitute palladium for something cheaper. The obvious answer is platinum. Some car manufacturers are looking to replace palladium in petrol catalytic converters with platinum, but it is likely to take to two to five years before we see this happening, as it would require time to test and get relevant government approval. When this happens, platinum will go up again and palladium will come down. But for the moment, palladium is king. Bend the knee to the new king of precious metals. All hail palladium. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. See you next time.